Okay, okay. 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 It's not about sentiments. It's that there are a group of people in this country that feels that this country should be Islamized. This is a fact. I said you want me to start mentioning names of people in this government that we have interrogated. I was a member of an interrogation team. And I've interrogated a very high-ranking member of this government in 2007-2008 on issue of Boko Haram. I interrogated him. He's in this government right now. And what was the issue? Boko Haram. And this senior officer was actually let go because it, it, he was found culpable. But right now he's in the government. You see, we must say the truth, because if you don't, this country is going down the precipice. We have been set back more than 60 years right now. We've gone back to the time before 1966 now. And whoever is coming back to repair this country has a lot of work to do. This country has never been polarized, so we cannot run away from it. We have never been this much polarized. I'm a federal person. My mind is federal. My brain is federal. My loyalty is federal. I kill, I do things for the federal government. So I cannot come here and try to be sentimental. No, I'm a federal person. So will your life be at risk now that they're hearing I, you? I don't care. I don't care. And um, my colleagues, they know me. Those people that are listening to me, they know me. I don't care. The issue is that this country is bigger than an individual. That is the issue. This country is bigger than individuals. But why do we come and go? Uh, eliminating me or killing me will not solve the problem. And will not add value. But he will come and go. And somebody must come and repair the damage to the psyche of this society, the damage to the polarization, to the nepotism that I've never seen in my life. I work with all these presidents. This is the worst situation I've found myself. And believe me, internet does not forget. I was part of the people that helped to bring Buhari to government because I believe in him. Have you worked with the government after that? After, After you helped bring the government. Oh, of course, I worked with him. We brought him in in 2015, and I work as the Deputy Director of Defense Administration. And we have a lot of hope in him. And we actually are ready to do anything for him. What he has turned out over the years is shocking to us. I was in Harvard in 2014, in December, when the Department of State Services and CIA and others were contemplating about Buhari and other uh, aspirants. I know what we did to convince the American government that the only person that can come and put this country right is Buhari. That was before the, uh, the Lagos... Uh, um, the uh, APC, yeah, the before they choose within. Right. And that was how Tinubu came in. We know what we did, but what he has done in the past six years is shocking. It's unprecedented. And it should not be allowed to be swept under the carpet because the damage to the psyche of this country is monumental. Mm.